Chapter 10. Night Peanut. Jack opened his eyes. Then he opened his fist. He stared at the moonstone in his hand. It was clear and smooth, and it almost glowed. We're home, said Annie. Squeak! Annie and the mouse were looking out the window. Jack looked with them. The sun was setting in the distance. No time at all had passed in Frog Creek. They heard the neighbor's dog, Henry, bark, and they heard the crickets chirping. In the distance, they could see their dad step out of the house. He stood there on their porch. Jack! Annie! he called. Time for dinner! Coming! Annie shouted. Jack sat back on his heels. He looked at the moonstone again. I guess we have one of the four things, he said. We'll look for the other three tomorrow, Annie said. Jack nodded. They have a lot more work to do. He put the moonstone in his pack in his pocket and he pulled on his backpack. Ready? he said. Wait, said Annie. And she took off one of her sneakers. She pulled off her sock and then put her sneaker back on. What are you doing? said Jack. I'm making a bed, she said. A what? A bed, you know, for Pina to sleep in. Annie picked up the mouse, <laughs> and she tucked it inside her sock. Night, Peanut, she said softly. Squeak! Oh, brother, said Jack. Jack held the mouse close, uh, Annie held the mouse close to Jack. Kiss it good night, Jack, she said. Don't be silly, he said. Let's go. Thanks for helping us, Annie said to the mouse. She put Peanut gently down on the glowing M, and she pulled Morgan's message out of her pouch, and then she put that next to the mouse. See you tomorrow, she said, and she started down the ladder. Jack stared at the mouse. It looked back at him. And for a moment, its dark eyes looked old and wise. Come on, Jack, called Annie. Jack kissed his tiny little head. Night, night, Peanut, he whispered. Then Jack headed down the rope ladder. It got darker and darker as they went down, and by the time he stepped onto the ground, it was almost completely black. Where are you? said Jack. Here, said Annie. Her hand bumped his. He took it. Careful, he said. Careful yourself, he, she said. And together they took off, together, the, in the cool, through the cool, dark woods. They moved silently and swiftly. Two shadow warriors returning home. The end. I hope you liked it. It was a good story. And maybe you guys can go out in the park and find your own moonstone. You guys have a good day.